Welcome to the tutorial demo on how to use the iMover Jackson Desk Control app on your iPhone or Android device. The first thing to do after downloading the app is to link your phone to the desk via Bluetooth. This is done by tapping on the connect button in the upper left hand corner of the screen. To pair the Bluetooth connection, locate the small black button on the back of the Jackson's handset and tap it twice. Next, tap the scan and connect button on the app. As soon as the phone sees the desk, you'll be asked to enter a pairing code. Just type in six zeros. The desk is now connected to your Jackson app. You can now give your desk a friendlier name if you want to. This is particularly helpful if there are multiple Jackson desks being used within a 30 foot radius. Let's go ahead and name this desk Andrew. Now let's go back to the main screen and head to the settings screen by tapping on the gear icon in the upper right corner of the screen. The first thing we'll want to do here is toggle on the enable auto drive feature. This will allow you to command the desk to your preferred sitting or standing height with a single tap on the app or with a double tap on the handset. Next, let's set the health coach notification intervals. By enabling this feature, you'll be asking the desk to automatically remind you to change from sitting to standing and back to sitting on a regular time interval that you'll set. For now, let's set it to 45 minutes. The desk will keep track of time for you and send a push notification to your phone when it's time to switch. The Jackson Desk has a built-in infrared presence sensor to detect when you've stepped away from your desk and will take your absence into account by automatically pausing the countdown timer. When the timer reaches 45 minutes, you'll get a message like this on your phone and with just a single tap, you can allow the desk to change heights automatically or decline the suggestion. The Jackson's handset has red and green LED lights built in that display various status indications or error codes. But if you use the desk in a bedroom and would rather not have these bright lights come on, you can disable them here with this toggle. From this screen, you can also switch from inches to centimeters and change your work week from Monday through Friday to seven days a week. With the settings all configured, now let's go back to the main page. To store your preferred standing height, set the height of the desk using either the up down buttons in the app or on the handset. Then tap save and then tap the standing button. Repeat this step to program your preferred sitting height. When done, your screen should look like this, with value showing in both the standing and sitting buttons. Now, to change your desk height, simply tap one of these buttons just once. Alternatively, if you don't want to open the app, use the handset to automatically go to the standing or sitting preset height by double tapping on the up or down button. Now, the fun part. The Jackson will automatically and unobtrusively keep track of your sitting and standing time throughout the day. If you step away from the desk, it will also keep track of your absence so that you can always get an accurate depiction of your sitting versus standing time throughout the day. Tap on the day of the week to see a history log of your activity. You can switch from looking at a day at a time or a week, month, or at a year at a time. Studies have shown that the average office worker will increase their standing time by 117% a day, just by utilizing the built-in health coach to remind them to change positions throughout the day. Otherwise, it's easy to get into a zone and forget. Here's a pro hack for anyone wanting to minimize their sitting time. Just remember to leave your desk at a standing height at the end of the day to get a leg up on the next morning. Lastly, a couple of pro tips for using the Jackson desk in a hoteling space where multiple employees are going to pick a random desk to work at for short periods of time. You can sync once with as many desks in as many locations as you'd like, and any that are in Bluetooth range will automatically appear in the menu of available desks you can connect to. And these hot desk spaces, it's a great idea to assign a unique number or name to each workstation. Note that Bluetooth can only maintain one user connection at a time, so if you walk up to an unused desk but can't see it in the connection list, it probably means that the last user did not disconnect from the desk and their phone is still in Bluetooth range. In this instance, you'll see a pop-up message offering you to take the connection over. That's it! We'll always be adding more functionality to this app, so be sure to keep it updated and enjoy future enhancements.